Uh, part number two, one thing I failed to mention about the fire extinguisher controls, nothing is wired as yet. And we'll get that wired up. We're just about down and ready to take off here. Um, Turn the taxi light off and uh, don't need to see that. I'm just going to do a real quick takeoff and gear transition and then show uh, Brendan how. Um, how the control yoke uh, functions. We're going to do a uh, video where we actually have a flight where we take off and land, but today it's uh, just a basic update on the thing. I don't want to do the other flight until we get those instruments in. Uh, they're actually scheduled for the 14th shipment of this month and who knows how long it's going to take because they're coming from Brenton. Okay, here we go. And let's hope we don't crash. I've got the weather is pretty cruddy again today. I got some some turbulence and some things that are kind of working against us. What you'll hear in a moment when they call 80 knots is PM systems which are there we go. Which is PM sounds I should say and that's free. So anybody we're at uh, 110, rotating at 125. So we're at rotating speed, and away we go. On the instrument panel here, you notice I've got it in a 10 degree to 15 degree up. Okay, go ahead and throw that gear up. Show them the lights. And as I punch on the uh, MCP, uh, if you'll notice that the lights that were flashing on the panel again, they go off. First light was autopilot, second was auto throttle. Gear handle goes to neutral once the gear is up. And we're going to put the flaps up now. I got a kick out of the the programming for this and the lady that does the flaps are up, flaps are down, gear up, gear down, the voice, which is actually what they have in the real 737. What I thought was kind of funny is there's one section. Oops. Uh, there's one section in the um, in the programming and you can use it if you want and it's uh, gear up darlin and apparently airliners or the 737 planes if they want they can program it that way so instead of just a simple gear up they can actually go and say gear up darling which is kind of a seductive voice. Okay, this is for Brendan. I'm going to do a couple of short turns here. Uh, right now we're climbing at 1800 feet a minute. Anything below 10,000 feet you have to maintain 250 knots, no more than 250 knots. So I'm going to turn the heading indicator off or heading part of the autopilot off and we're going to do some turns here. Uh, to show you what kind of a response we have and what I did is I went outside so you can see the aircraft also you can see the weather's kind of shitty and here we go you see there's not much and you stay in your turn and you can bring your um, yoke back to neutral uh, which is basically the way the real flying is. You get yourself in a turn and then you 
you bring your yoke back to neutral. Uh, it takes quite a bit of pressure to and you can adjust the pressure on this. Uh, there is a um, there's a part in the um, in the programming where you can ease it off or you can make it uh, a little bit more unresponsive where you have to put more gusto into your your wrist and stuff but this is pretty much like the the real thing and like I said we're in some really lousy weather with some mild to moderate turbulence and in some cases we'll get kicked around and the flight that we're gonna do we're gonna show you that too so every now and then you have to particularly on landing the aircraft uh, it's not just uh, hands off I flew from JFK because the weather was really bad yesterday back east all along the eastern seaboard so I actually programmed it for really heavy snow, heavy turbulence. Left JFK, went to Miami International. And uh, boy, did I get bucked around. But again, that's the way I like to fly. And as you can see, even the um, airspeed indicator here is popping around a little bit. And even though we're supposed to be climbing at 1,800 feet, if you notice here, we're up and down and all over the place. Again, that's because of the way I have the weather set up. So that shows you we're going from 1,800 and up to 1,870 feet, 80, 90, 1,900 feet a minute. And um, it, it can be a little fun, a little tricky, but that's the part of flying. Um, especially when you're flying instruments um, it creates a little bit more of a challenge so right now that's what we have uh, again as soon as we get those instruments in I'm going to um, 10, feet. okay 10,000 feet that means we can actually start to increase our speed normally I fly at 305 knots right now our ground speeds 291 which is indicated here uh, but now it's increasing because even though I'm indicating 305 knots on the indicated airspeed our actual ground speed is already up to 322 knots right now even though it's indicating here 274 so the higher up you go your ground speed increases so when you're popping around 305 knots upstairs, your ground speed somewhere in the neighborhood of 460 to 480 uh, miles per hour. So that's it's, it's pretty fast any way you look at it. So thanks for watching. Again, I apologize for those of you who want me to do things. It's just that we just don't have the time right now, possibly once we uh, get everything working properly. I might be able to do a flight here or there for you. And, uh, of course, we want to notify everybody to keep your seatbelt buckled up. And that's also a call for my wife because I'm going to run a speaker downstairs. And when she hears that, that means, honey, I want the coffee. Anyway, you guys have a great uh, day. Thanks again for watching the video. And we'll have another one posted pretty soon. Take care.